Stillwell of Indigo Bohemian Art Studio here and this is my first YouTube video and I'm kind of bummed about that. So anyway I got my painting clothes on. Um, they're not on inside out anymore so if you're watching them well, I've done good. Hey let's go on over to the paint table. The colors used today are Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in Black. We have Craftsmart Gold Liquitex Basics in Cadmium Red Deep. And the last three are Artist Loft. We have Vermilion, Metallic Orange, and Deep Yellow. I think I'm going to do this on a wet black background. I've got a 14 by 14 canvas here. And I'm going to set up the camera so I can walk you through how I'm going to do this painting. So, just a sec. pretty much ready to go here. I've got all my paints mixed here. Uh, the thicker ones are about one to two with Flood Floetrol and that is a paint extender that you can buy at Duchesne Paints in Canada or from Amazon like I do. So the ratio is roughly two parts Floetrol to one part paint for the thicker paints and about one to one with the thinner paints. I want to do a wet black background here, so I'm just going to start by pouring it right on the canvas, like that. This is just a drywall, drywall knife, and it makes a nice paint spreader, so we're going to use that to get a nice thin coat everywhere. When your canvas is wet with paint, it helps the other paints that you pour over top of it to spread a little more neatly. Um, you can actually watch your design travel across the canvas. If your canvas is dry when you pour on top of it, the effect that happens is that it kind of rolls under itself. And then if there's a a section that you've poured that you really like, you might lose it as you're tilting and trying to get your canvas covered. So, this is kind of boring, so I'll probably speed this up. Just, just to point out, you know, you don't have to buy the artist's quality paints to start out. Acrylic craft paint is great for this, especially if you're just starting out. And if you don't want to go through the expense of buying Floetrol or another paint extender, um, Elmer's glue works mixed with water. You basically want to cut your paint so A, it goes farther, because if, if you do buy artist quality paints, you'll know that they're a little harder on your pocketbook than the craft paints. It makes your paint go a little further and it makes it flow a little more nicely. My canvas is not as taut as it should be and if I hadn't already put paint on it I would spray the back with some water. If you spray the back of your canvas with water and let it dry it will snug right up and probably preferable to do that before you paint on it, but you can do it afterwards. At least I, I've done it afterwards and I didn't have any problems. So yeah, I'm just trying to get a nice even coat here if I can get it on the sides too. I mean, obviously with acrylic pour painting, you know you're going to lose paint, but the frugal goddess in me it's a little, it's a little antsy when, you know, the paints are rolling off. It's like, save as much as you can. I try. It doesn't always work, but I try. Anyways, I'm gonna speed this up, get this covered nicely, and then we'll get on to our wandering room tour.
going to mix my paints. Um, yeah, I'm just going to layer them in this cup and then we're going to do a wandering ring pour over the canvas. So I'll start with the gold. And I can even light to dark and then maybe work my way back. I know you've, if you've watched any other artists on YouTube, you know there's some, some wear gloves and some don't, and I like to get messy, so I don't wear gloves. That usually means I uh, have dirty nail beds and cuticles for a couple days after I go to my day job, but you know what? Oh well. Worth it. Layer that red. Put a little bit of black in for good measure, because I still have some. Although I think I will save some to touch up the sides, just in case. So I'll leave it like that. Um, go with gold again. I like to try to get most of the paint out because I don't like to waste it. I mentioned earlier, I consider myself to be a frugal goddess. And it's just, it, the nature of this painting is that, you know, it is wasteful in the fact that, you know, paint rolls off. Although you can save the paint, it rolls off and scoop it onto another canvas or tile. Sometimes I do that. I said I was going to go backwards, and I'm not. I'm going. Just, I'm putting them in the same order that they were. It's like, oops, my bad. The gold is obviously metallic, and so is this orange. It's a pretty orange. And I like to put a little bit of metallic paint in most of my paintings. Just to add a little sparkle. There's the orange. There's a million here. Almost done. And these are just um, upcycled jello pudding cups. And they're a nice size for mixing up paint. I also use yogurt cups and Basically, any size cup that I think will work. No need to buy new. You can recycle and upcycle. Okay, that's pretty much the end of the red. And I was going to save that black. So, okay, so we've got all these paints layered in the cup. They didn't mix a whole lot, and that's okay. There's a few bubbles in there, little cells forming. I didn't add any silicone because when you do a ring pour, you tend to make cells anyway. So I'm just going to go for it. Work in little circles and the paint blends itself as it pours out. I might not talk much here, I'm trying to concentrate. I'm the type of person who can't walk and chew bubble gum at the same time, so the fact that I'm making a video and pouring paint, it's kind of a big deal, people. When the gold comes out, it kind of takes over, doesn't it? I 
tail isn't level. I see my my red over there starting to run. So I'm gonna pick this up soon and give it a tilt. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'll take my ring off. So I'm gonna go at this barehanded and see what we come up with. The paint's thickest, it wants to run the fastest. So, bring it back the other way. You can work with the weight of the paint, you can tip it to the side and then recenter the weight and go in another direction. I want to run some of that gold. Side. No. Tip it back. Tip it down. I think we'll just work with this corner over here. I had hoped that they would be more sunburst colors, but they've blended kind of funny on me, and that's all right. There's a little bit of science to acrylic fluid pouring and a lot of experimentation. I know I've got it turned away from you, but I'm going to flip it back here in just a sec. Now today I'm just using one of those oven liners to catch my paint and get it at the dollar store. Sometimes I just use cardboard. It is really about being resourceful and making do. It's not like you have to spend a lot of money to do this, especially if you're first starting out. Okay, come on, paint. I'm not always the most patient person. Most of that black negative space to be gone, so here we go. So can move it a little bit more, I think. Interesting stripes, though. You know what? I'll just call that done. Now, I'm going to use my hand to do it. If you go around the side and knock the drips off, it keeps that heavy paint from pulling. Because if it pulls, you might take what you like off the top and run it down underneath. That's not a lot of fun. Well, so there you have it. That's what that's what we call wandering ring pour. Sorry if I wasn't as chatty as I maybe could have been. Um, this is my first video that I've done for this channel, so hopefully I'll get better in the future. I think, though, what I'd like to do is grab my torch. And this is just a creme brulee torch. You can buy it on Amazon. I got mine. We're going to pop the air bubbles. And it might encourage a few little sets to pay. Or maybe not. Actually, as far as my rain pours go, this has fewer cells than most of them. But you never know. Sometimes when you just let it sit and things pop and change, and it could be interesting. I'll show you this painting when it's dry.
And there you have it. That's my first video. A wandering rain pour in sunset colors that didn't turn out quite the way I thought it did. It should, but you know what? That's okay. This and all my other paintings you can find on my website at www.indigobohemianart.com. Check it out. There will be new stuff going up there this week. So, thanks for watching. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. Maybe you just enjoyed hanging out with me. Anyways, I'm Dawn, and until next time, be cool, man. See ya. Okay, so we're back. It's not dry. It's only a few hours later. But I did run some black streaks through it just to help break it up a little bit and make the black flow nicely through it. I torched it one more time and we did get a few more little cells here and there. Sorry about the glare. It's nighttime now and the light seems pretty bright. So there you go. There's my wandering ring pour. I hope you enjoyed my video. I enjoyed making it. And we'll see you next time.